wanna be. Oh. Roll with it, all you gotta do is roll with it in the end of your system, baby. Yeah, bro, with it. Said I got what you missing, you ain't gotta go get it. When I pull up with that work for you, baby, come get it. You been on my mind ever since. Need to relax, sit back and let it sink. Stimulate our minds away in every kind of way. And blow the stress away, ain't got a thing. Let's take a trip out to the islands and just lay up. A private slider for the night, gonna take us way up. Just Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a vegan lasagna, okay? No, I am not vegan. I am trying something different. I want to see how it's going to taste and how it's going to turn out. I actually saw, um, I don't know, some of you may follow these YouTubers, some of you may not, but check them out if you don't. But I saw um, a couple by the name of Chanel and Omala. Uh, I hope I'm saying, yeah, oh my la, doing this lasagna and it looked really good. So I decided that I would try it. Um, let's see. It, the only difference is they didn't use this, uh, vegan gourmet shredded cheese, which is what I'm going to use. Um, Everything else is pretty much the same, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and they didn't use bell pepper, but, you know, sometimes we just got to put our own little spin on things. So, I'm going to show you everything that I will be using. I'm going to show you the steps and the process to cooking it, and I'm going to try to keep it short and brief so that it's not a very long, drawn-out video. Uh, So, here we go. Okay, here's everything that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using organic spinach. Um, Italian herb pasta sauce and this is vegan friendly okay oh it's too much light I don't, I don't I don't know what's going on okay there we go vegan friendly then we have the vegan shredded mozzarella cheese okay gluten free soy free milk grade 100% dairy free and we got us some yellow squash, organic, some zucchini, also organic. Sorry guys about this sunlight coming in from my window. Um, bell peppers. Uh-oh, no. Some firm tofu. Baby Bella whole, excuse me, mushrooms, um, I don't know what I was going to do with this, I'll figure that out later, <laughs> and, uh, some lasagna, this is also vegan friendly lasagna, okay, oh, and this really actually looked good when I saw them cooking it, I saw them eat it, I think, for breakfast, as well as, and it might not have been the um, Italian one. I think it was like some apple sausage, something. I don't know. Anyways, so I wanted to try this, period. Whether it was to do the lasagna with or not. But this looks very good. Very good once it's starting to be cooked. Um, yeah. So that's what we have. I'm going to cut everything up. And I'll come back. Um, because I'm using my cell phone. I don't feel like... Um, using setting up the camera and everything but i might end up having to do that just so you guys can see the full process without me having to hold the phone and all that you know yeah that's what i'll do let me go get the camera out guys i'll be back okay guys i changed my mind again i am just going to use the phone okay so basically i'm going to cut up the why did i only buy one squash I don't know. Um, I'm going to cut up the zucchini and the squash. And all the vegetables. And then I'm going to um, basically stir fry it. And after I get it all cut up and stir fried, then I, I mean, cut up and however I'm going to cut it, dice, whatever I'm going to do to it. Um, when they cut it up, they just cut it into round pieces. Uh, I think that I prefer diced, sliced and diced, you know? So 
So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do here. And then I'll come back and let you guys see the next part of the process. Okay, so you take the tofu, drain it off. Okay, so here's your tofu. It's just a brick. It looks like cheese. Um, smells like, and no, I didn't put my nose on it. <laughs> it smells like paint. Uh, <laughs> crumble it into the bowl. Crumble it up and it will look like, um, what do you call it, a uh, ricotta, ricotta cheese, I uh, will put the right word, feta ricotta, one of those, I think it's ricotta though. Um, then you take your spinach, damn I should have used the other camera, you take your spinach, put it in the bowl which I cut up really fine also. Put it in the bowl with the um damn what's wrong with my brain with the tofu and I'm gonna hold the phone with one hand and allow you guys to see what's going on here. Clean hand, phone hand and uh you just mix it all up together. I may have put too much spinach, damn it. I don't know. We're going to see. But y'all know spinach kind of drains down to, withers down to nothing. So, anyways, this is what we'll have. So, this is what it's looking like. Then, you, I have my mushrooms, the zucchini and the squash green onion and celery i mean green onion and celery lord onion and bell pepper cut up and i will stir fry that stuff i have my water boiling over here and um i'm gonna put the lasagna in there okay so here's my water boiling i'm gonna take mm, i guess about nine of these and put them in here Set my timer for 11 minutes and I just put as many as my pot could hold as it boils they will go down into the pot and boil the whole process through um, for the time but I just because my pan is a little bit bigger than the pan that they used for their lasagna so I boiled a few more than nine they only use nine um, but uh yeah so this is what we hit what we have and i will come back to you guys in a second okay guys so what i'm going to do is take my squash and put it in the pot mm, and zucchini and put it in the pot and i'm going to go ahead and just mix the sauce with it and let it cook in the sauce because i'm not sure how they did the process of cooking it i don't know if they steamed it um used the skillet and sauteed it or what they did to it they skipped that process but i'm just going to put it in with the sauce let it absorb the flavor from the sauce and uh that's how i'm gonna do that it's nothing wrong with doing things your own way it will cook it will have flavor. It had a flavor of the sauce. Yeah, that I mean. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the sauce and pour it in the pot 
with this and see the noodles are starting to go down into the pot okay this is how it looks in the packaging um well once you take it out of this part of the package it's all connected like little links and you'll just cut the plastic oh goodness okay you'll just cut the plastic off of it which is what i will show you shortly and then we'll get it into the skillet and fry it up with the onions and the bell pepper Okay, so we got our vegetarian sausage, I mean vegetarian, vegan sausage, and then I have the sauce going with the vegetables in it. I'm going to put the sausage in the pan and stir fry it with vegetables. Mm. Y'all, this smells so freaking good. I'm really hoping, I'm really, really hoping <laughs> that I like this sausage because this smells so good, but I'm hoping that I, that it tastes like meat and I'm hoping because I am not a vegan, nor am I a vegetarian. I love meat, but I'm just trying to try different things, give different things a try. Um, I don't even know how long you have to cook this considering it's just a vegetable and then it's going to go in the oven anyways. But yeah, here's what we have. And, and I'm going to try one. Okay. Okay. It tastes like me. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think to tell y'all what it actually tastes like. It almost really does taste like Italian sausage. It just kind of has a slightly different texture. Um, but it's good. It's not bad. I think I made a good choice. Okay. We got our sauce. And the noodles are done. Everything's done. And I'm about to start layering this mug. Okay, so this part, you just put you some sauce on the bottom. As you start to layer it, you're going to go from sauce to noodles to whatever you decide is going to be in each layer. And then to noodles again. And do that same process over and over again. Okay, so I have my noodles. And then I'm going to take some of my meat and put it on. Okay. Spread that around. Kind of try to get that a little evenly placed so there is meat in every couple of bites at least since it's not, you know, ground beef or anything like that. I could have crumbled it, I guess, but I didn't. Um, shoot. Take some mushrooms. And that'll probably help it with some more texture. Replacing the meat texture flavor or whatever. And then take some of the mm, shoot the i guess the ricotta and the spinach mix and 
and then just do that over and over again until the process is done so we're gonna sauce pasta meat veggies whatever and um put your feta ricotta shit what's the name of the shit help me out y'all <laughs> anyways put it in with the spinach and continue to do that until your layers are complete okay so far this is how it's looking <clears throat> also you guys make sure you do not over boil your noodles because they will be gummy or they will be too soft like you want your noodles to still have a kind of firm feel but they are done okay don't over boil your noodles they will be hard to handle if you do okay so this is the last part then I'm gonna take the um, <clears throat> sorry I'm going to take the vegan cheese and sprinkle it on top and we'll have our finished product to go in the oven. Okay, this is our finished product. <clears throat> Not finished, but finished being layered. I tried to make sure that I made it pretty saucy because you know the noodles will absorb half your sauce now this is what it's looking like now before it goes in the oven i'm hoping that's enough sauce because i hate to have a freaking dry lasagna okay so i'm gonna stick this in the oven i set the oven for 375 <clears throat> i'm gonna let it heat up actually what i'm thinking is i'm not gonna put the cheese on there um i'm gonna stick it in the oven and let it bake for a little bit and then probably like five or ten minutes before I take it out then I'll put the cheese on so that's what we're gonna do and I will let you guys see the finished product and let you know how it tastes oh yeah I also am cooking real Italian sausage and ground beef and I'm gonna put sauce on it because I'm not sure how my baby's gonna feel about a vegan like basically all vegetable not basically yeah all vegetable freaking lasagna so even though the sausage does taste like real sausage i mean like you know lasagna you want it to be meaty you want it to be cheesy you want you know you want all that stuff so i'm gonna have sausage to the side for her <clears throat> and ground beef so that way she can get her meat feel if she wants it and if not then great I'm glad she enjoys it this way but you know just in case precautions okay you guys the lasagna is finished, finished. she says it needs some salt all she did was slurp, slurp up the <laughs> slurp up the uh, sauce so clearly it's not flavored enough and that's no, fine it's we'll flavored just, enough it's just not enough salt We'll me, just, that, that's just in the sauce. It might be in the sauce. We'll Maybe. just um flavor in the rest of it. Now you gotta put it all together. She can just add there. seasoning to her portion. Okay. Did you eat some sausage with it? It tastes good. It does. Why are you looking like that though? Because I was surprised. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it is good. This is good. Y'all gotta try to make this. It's good. I don't feel like mine needs any more salt. It doesn't. Move it all up together. Um, everything's flavored good. This um. What do you call this? The vegan cheese melts kind of funny. But besides that, it tastes good. And I taste the piece coming out of the package. It just tastes like string cheese. It's like a dry string cheese. But um, let's see. Let me taste this piece of tofu. The tofu absorbed all the flavor from everything else. It has a chewy texture. Um, kind of like the cheese, I guess. I like the cheese. It's good. 
No, I'm talking about the cheese from cheese. Oh, okay, yeah. But, uh, you know, the cheese that goes in the lasagna. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, everything's good. You guys need to try it yourself. It tastes delicious. If she likes it, then it's good. <laughs> Thanks for viewing, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and make this ditch. Deuces. Y'all. Y'all, I am such a freaking goober. Y'all, I am such a freaking goober. I forgot to <laughs> show y'all what it looked like when it came out of the oven. Um, Yeah, so this is what it looks like. The cheese melted kind of funky. But besides that, you know, it tastes good. That's all that matter. It tastes bomb AF, you know. It's good AF. Y'all got to try this. I'm telling you. Try it.